Alright, as some people may have realized, there hasn't been a Danganronpa for a while, let alone any other episodes. There was vacation, there was me being ill, depression, a lot of other things. And one thing that's been stopping me from getting back to this is I messed up on this recording. Partway through, I think I fix it, but um, Cassie's audio did not record correctly, nor did the game audio. It was a serious oversight on my end, and it's pretty dang bad so uh i'll figure out what i can do about that but this is my preface here and sorry for a minute intro just to tell you that these episodes won't be as good but i'm not putting this off anymore rather than trying to piece everything back together like i have on pre previous projects i'm gonna call you know a loss here and just keep going keep trying to move forward because while the sad times may be big in my brain, I'm not letting it stop me. Alright, to the episode. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Um, a body's been discovered! Let's talk about murders. <laughs> I was like looking around like, where's Byaki? And I started doing this like, wait. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I have to be in this thing. For the crime scene first. We're talking to I mean, we need to talk to Toko at some point. Yeah. Okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Alright. So, okay. Owie? What do you mean? Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, yeah, after yeah. all. Were they really that worried when it was Chihiro, and they literally did full body inspection? I mean, they didn't know, and also, yeah, they were worried because they were like, <laughs> Huh. It's not a body part, but it, there's something next to the body. It's a key? Is this what Kyoko took from Monokuma? I mean, it looks nothing like it. That's right, the key sh she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This is anything like that. Then this key is... What is it? Did he find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this before. What could it possibly go to? So, even you don't know, then. <laughs> Makoto, I'm gonna give you a very important task. Huh? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. So I will say, Gabe, by the way, the end of last chapter when Bibiaki decides not to play the Mastermind's game anymore yeah. is supposed to be his redemption. That's supposed to be him getting better. Wow. I. I'm not allowed to investigate the body until I. D yeah. <laughs> so, based on the key, where do you think? I mean, the fact that it looks. You're wrong. The fact that it looks techy means that it would go. This is the biological. The dorms from the second floor, the headmaster's room. The bio lab, which you're just at, and the data center. Yeah, I, I thought I was the data center, to be honest. Yes, it was Not the so third floor. Fourth yes. Floor. Fourth floor. Alright, the door to the data center was definitely locked before. Fun. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I'd thrown in the garden, the keyhole. Click. It fits. Then this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. Immediately headed back to the garden. So you're back. How did it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. And we can get to the data center now? Interesting. But why do the now deceased have the key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Not gonna investigate the body any, huh? Here we are. Well, looks like the door's still unlocked. So, when you open that 
door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? You're asking that question now? Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? The lucky student, not scapegoat. It's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie, I'm just being used. Hey, are you okay? You were kind of bomb. Hold on, I gotta gather spit for this one. That's a sentence. Not one I wanted to hear, but it is a sentence. Max, you're going to strike you! Max, you're going to you! Well, don't let it go to your head! I am so not happy about any of this. It's the one I like. It'll be fine. Makoto's on the top. Not that that's any kind of guarantee. Not a guarantee. <sighs> I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. So this is where the mastermind's been hanging out, I guess? In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up until now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of, my, of the school. Here, the fear was lurking behind the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. Hey, that's... Here, extended trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those, look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is... It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. Do you watch us? And this room is... The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. The body in the gardens. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mikurui Kasaba, and she was the mastermind. Then, um, the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? It would seem so. For serious? He's a bad man to go and die. Poor Max, you're to kill him himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was that? But the mastermind really is dead. That means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and fix the exit. Come on. Find the exit. Whatever. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Oh, but what about the exit? If the mastermind is truly dead... We can leave whenever we decide to, but right now, we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you think so too, huh? There's a fucking knife in the gullet. Uh huh. I mean, to be fair, you can absolutely stab yourself. It is po very possible. The state of the corpse make it plain as day, there is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. Now do you understand you useless insect? You're banned for talking to master ever again! Please. The Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. I don't think you understand. If those two can't talk anymore, that cuts their lines down. I don't have a voice for either of them anymore. That's great. 
Hearing them talk less is great. This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Hmm. Alright. Hello, Toko Fukawa. Hurry up! Find something for Master! Okay. Well, why are they viewing themselves? No matter one, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're obviously everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? There's a ri really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the Mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. So long as I have this. Huh? Look at my eyes, you're going to kill like a beast for the eye! How much is your mama not fully membership? She wants me to act to be the only fan to count. Yeah. You are correct. There's a bunch of computers all lined up, they all look like high performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So, what? You can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What sanctuary are you from? The mastermind must have been using these monitors to these to monitor the network and alter ego. You may well be right about that, but there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. I mean, correct, they are flickering as fast as they are. That's a really dumb statement. This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Rattle, rattle, rattle. No luck. The door is locked, What if you use that key to open this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Rattle, rattle. Nope, no good. It doesn't even... it won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about the door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right. The Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. A Byakugan. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. I mean, I wouldn't know why they were killed as much as the next guy, but I also really want to get out of here. There's nothing showing up on this one. Huh? Hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses! It's totally one of those high-def antennas! Wait, so if we hook up this antenna, we can watch TV? Huh? TV! 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 Oh, tell me! Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here! Um, are you talking about me? Anyway, if we watch this TV, let's- if we can watch TV, let's do it! Come on, come on, come on! Ah, you're full of star for info from the outside world, huh? Alright, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Hmm? 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 Oh. Oh! What's wrong? Good news for you all Saturday morning kitties out there, I think I got the TV working. Really? Now all we gotta do is switch it on. Then do it. Friggin' idiot mastermind, all you guys need to do is cut free from your regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Huh? This is... It's the baby coming from the surveillance camera, not in the room, isn't it? Oh, that's weird. Hey, what are you doing? 
It's really weird. Hmm? You're weird. Weird than every behind the people. And not just weird. Super weird. I don't really think you ever talk to But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Oh, good idea. Let me give that a try. Here I went through each channel one by one. But on every channel was just us. It was the live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? We're broken or something? No, there must be some other kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? I'm not sure, but... Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Been a while, you friggin' bastards! Monokuma? Hey, to be fair, Monokuma, we were planning on breaking the rules, but we never actually did, so... How? You're... You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> Me? Dead? Don't be friggin' stupid. Hey, you're acting kinda strange. Something seems different. A different evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like a day at... Uh, like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it? <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, it's really laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> and that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past, so full of yourself, full of hope, and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have a more, way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going? No, we were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you so obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all that bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? Like, it's your worst. If it's the worst, then does it mean you're in despair? <laughs> well, I'm pooped from all the laughing. I guess I'll get to the point now. The point? You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed, that TV's an essential part of your school life here. I knew it was hiding in a, in a secret of some kind. But I connected the antenna, so it's just showing us the surveillance. So why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well, then I'm going to let you in a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. The TV's absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. But, does that, what does that mean? It's displaying a signal, but it's just us standing here. Uh, you're so stupid. Didn't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast lot? Hello? I... I let go of the button and it pressed it. It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible! That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode! Are you being serious right now? I heard a kind of creaking, but that sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind has begun to creak and groan. Everything has a meaning, you know. 
All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me alluring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show of the best in despair entertainment. You're lying! If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy! Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if they already did? Huh? No, oh, but then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to try to help? I mean, don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. But to take control of all the communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep, so how could things come this far? Well, that's a secret. Something you'll need to, to do first, remember? What? Yeah, duh, there's the little business of, uh, ding dong, bing dong. Ding dong, whatever. Bing bong, bing bong. Huh? Class trial? I'll leave the next monocuma flower right here, everybody. Give it your all, all you've got, okay? Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment, and how is he still alive? It's an offshoot of Charles E. Entertainment called Despair Entertainment. I don't understand that reference. That's the full thing for Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. Charles. That's the that's the mouse's name. Yeah, I, I I believe you. I just don't know that I've ever you know put that together. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. You implied you would have been you at class trial. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who'd killed Kyoko. What? What are you talking about? I thought Mikuri Kasaba was the one who died. The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. If Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind Mikuri Kasaba isn't dead. So naturally that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. Conversely, Mikuri Kisaba is not the mastermind. Boom, gotcha. Easy. There's no other possibility. Hmm? Gotcha. Yep. Except that's definitely not Kyoko's body. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because, because I don't know anything about her yet. Like, the fact that she definitely doesn't have a tattoo on her, le on her right hand. And, you know, I don't think she'd be caught dead with red fingernail polish. And that hair kind of looks brown. That might just be Burns, though. Who really knows? And also, you know, the fact that we saw two different people in our room last night. Both Kyoko and whoever that was in the mask. The Lucha Libre. Yeah, the Lucha Libre. I don't even know who she really is to have it end like this. I don't really believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. Yeah, dude, we've had this before. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? Anyway, we'd better begin. But... If we're gonna have a class trial... Then that means the killer... Correct. It must be somebody participating in our school life. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh, but you just said... 
I don't have time to explain. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. So, like, I will say, Biakian's not as much of a dick now as he was before, but I still hate him with everything in my mind. So, previously, he was the ultimate douchebag. That was his power. Now, he is actually starting to act like his actual role. He got his confidence crushed, and now he's standing back up. I can see where, if this game was a longer game, that he would absolutely become a redeemed character with a few more moments. But there's not enough time left in the game for him to actually recover. You can absolutely recover from just about anything with the right setup. But he can't. <laughs> I really don't think they could recover him yet, unless they wanted to try to force it. And at that point, that's forcing. That's not recovering. Well, I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body... Wait. What kind of metal pipe? Like, are we talking about like those one little, like... Like, those little thin pipes that I could grab? Or, like, are we talking about, like, a sewer pipe? Because it's just of metal, and that's not descriptive. The body was, uh, covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The identi unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all, we're all good. You need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. Monku file number five has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. 